Okay, so, it, so, so it has been approved that we can say the fuck word. Yeah, you just did. Okay. All of the United States is looking to Denver, Colorado to see what is cool. You know, it used to be maybe California back in the day or maybe New York early along, but now everybody's really looking to Denver, Colorado to figure out what is cool. And when you get accepted by Colorado uh, as cool, well, then it just spills over to the rest of the world. You have to see the vision for this area on South Broadway. This area, so five years from now, is going to look very different than it looks mm -hmm. right now. Right. Hold on one second. Not supposed to film me giving my tools of the trade. Like I tools of the trade? Yeah. Separate it's segments? Different. Separate segments when you do it. Always ID yourself. ID yourself. Say, hey, this is Bubba Sparks, baby, and you're watching World Viral TV. You better know about it. World Viral. All right. All right, we're back here at Music Buzz Live Radio, lifted as always by Evergreen Apothecary and Mary's Medicinals. We are going to get Diane from Mile High Seensters on the phone, and we're going to get the lowdown on what's going on with Mile High Seensters, one of Denver's coolest small nonprofits. Chris, give us a little background. Yeah, in uh, 2012, we uh, did a benefit, and we had chemistry with all the people that, that were helping put it together. At the end of the night, we asked ourselves, like, why are we not doing this more? And uh, the thing that was closest to all of our hearts was was youth music, since that's the future of our music scene. And uh, after small discussions, we decided to form the Mile High Seensters. Uh, we have a quarterly event series where we do youth music showcases, often at Herman's, but we're going to be doing one in Evergreen for the summer. And then um, we do an ongoing instrument drive, musical instrument drive, where we donate to... Uh, to schools and we actually have a drum set here in studio b you can see it yeah dude i was seeing left. that it's it's pretty rad uh drum set actually man diane are you there i'm here yeah hello keep talking hi diane how are you yeah um you know our, our musical instrument drive has been pretty cool i mean we've um had a huge uh success with that from uh, the out, in, a great outpouring from the community of people donating, you know, gently used instruments, or maybe you know somebody started out on something, they outgrew it, or you know they took interest in something different, and you know they donate the stuff to us. Um, we've had amazing stuff come our way, and uh, a lot of it we've donated to Denver Public Schools. Um, which has been pretty cool. They have a grant from VH1 Shade the Music where they have the ability to refurbish, you know, things that might need some work, you know, on them, for example. And then they donate them back into the, or not donate them, but put them into kind of like the, uh, I guess almost like their music checkout um, type store in a way, I guess you could call it, you know, where kids that might not have an instrument get to come in and pick something out, check it out. And Very cool. uh, utilize that instrument. We've donated items to other um, other schools like Coons Miller Music Academy, for example. We donated a drum kit uh, from the Lund family a few years back. Um, so that was pretty cool. We've had keyboards come our way. And then we've also done things like there might be a uh, youth in the uh, community that wishes to play an instrument, but they may not have the means to buy it. You know, um, so we donated a few um, instruments to kids in that way to help them get their start in music. You know, so it's pretty cool. That's that, awesome. That is super cool. And if you would like to donate an instrument, you can drop it off here at Herman's Hideaway. Is there anywhere else where you can take it? Um, you know, they can contact um, any one of us on the board. That would be myself, Diane Robinson, Chris Thomas <laughs> at Herman. Herman's, Liz Lincoln, Kristen uh, Conroy, Roy Harding, or Will Kildas also to see if we can make arrangements. If they can't drop it off, we will do our best to try to make arrangements with you to pick it up. Um, but otherwise, yes, we do have these lovely bins we have at Herman's, so you can uh, drop stuff off there during their normal operating hours, um, you know, which you can call ahead to double check. But you know, feel free to email us at any time um, about those donations at Mile High Seensters. That's all together, and that's S C E N E S T E R S at gmail dot com. And uh, you know, we'll work it out with you. Um, we're very appreciative of everybody's generosity on that. Pretty cool. I actually, I'm. Uh, this is Chad, uh, Diane, and I actually uh, hey, wanted to. Uh, what's up, girl? How are you? Um, I wanted good. to, 
I wanted to let you know that uh, this past weekend I actually picked up uh, something that's going to be donated uh, to the Mile High Scenesters, and hopefully we're going to have some pictures and stuff for it, but I'm not for sure uh, if you're familiar with the band Texas Hippie Coalition. Oh, awesome. Yes, you know, at our last event, um, that this was a really cool thing, and you can see that back in the archives, and in fact, on worldviral.tv, where the Texas Hippie Coalition came in, and we started uh, talking to them about uh, what we do and everything, and they, they talked to us a little bit and were very interested in, um, you know, getting involved and donating some stuff to us. For so sure. they did it. So they so, did. Yeah, they totally did. Yeah, they were they're on their uh, 420 ride on um, tour right now. They took off from Texas. They've been through they're, Arizona, they're Nevada, spring, Utah. They? And uh, yeah, they they actually gave me a bass, a bass guitar. John Exall from Texas Hippie Coalition gave me this kick ass bass. And I'm sure that we'll yeah, have some. Yeah, that is so cool. That's so cool, right? Yeah. That is awesome. So so. You know, this is the kind of stuff that people do. I mean, we just, um, you know, they, they don't always necessarily understand what we do. We've done our best to try to explain it. And the people that have faithfully, um, you know, been with us from the beginning and our ranks keep growing and, you know, our events are well attended and the word is getting out more and more and more, slow and pro, as our board member Will always says. You know, but, um, you know, when they realize this cool stuff that we're doing for and with youth musicians, you know, giving them an opportunity to have a, uh, you know, a live uh, real world experience of playing on a big stage, you know, and and getting out there and, and, and selling the tickets, promoting themselves. And, you know, we we also have... Um, Often, like our April 11th event coming up, we have industry industry experts on our panel of judges. You know, so, you know, we have a lot of people that are very connected in many different ways. I mean, uh, you know, Hazel is in, is that correct, Chris? Yeah, Hazel Miller is going to be one of the judges. Hazel Miller is, she has been involved with us uh, multiple times, and we love her to pieces, uh, of course, and uh, she is one of our judges at our next event for example well, and, and, you know, and let's hear had, a little bit about uh, the um, event and what exactly she's judging well they uh we're going to do um you know best performance combination of best performance and uh largest draw okay Correct, chris did i state that right yeah w- the way it works is uh we're gonna have um scorecards everybody that comes to the door who's uh there to, to be a spectator and see the show gets a scorecard and then uh, so there's an advantage to bringing people through the door we like to even it out and keep it fair that way we have we, that's why we have the judges panels uh, they have scorecards and their points equal I think it's 20 or something like that so uh, uh-huh. talent can prevail um, but there's obviously an advantage and an edge to bringing more people through the door. So we try to keep it fair. We try to give good criticism back to the bands. But, you know, it is a real-world experience, and um, getting people through the door to your show is an important part of playing show. So And so and that's cool. And these are all youth bands uh, up to the age of... They're all, uh, teenagers are the oldest, right? About, like, 18-year-old, 17-year-old kids. We cut it off, yeah, well, teens. Well, right. We do. I mean, we normally we, um, you know, kind of put it out there. We like to keep it between the ages of 10 to 19. Okay, um, cool. But we tend to mostly have like tween and teen. And, uh, you know, we have had some amazing talent cross our stages. I mean, we're, we're always just, you know, going, wow, uh, look at these kids. I mean, I can't believe they're doing this stuff at 14 or you, you know, really whatever. Do you do know what I'm saying? Too. And, and uh, it, it's pretty amazing. So, um, you know, it gives them some uh, great experience and some additional, you know, confidence. Our events are always um, family friendly, all ages. Um, they're well attended. The parents love them. The schools love them. We want to keep getting the word out more and more and more, you know, about what we do. Um, and, you know, we, we raise money for good causes. You know, we will partner up with other like minded organizations. Uh, at times, you know, we did something with St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital a few years ago. And we raised five grand for, you know, cancer research. Um, and, you know, they, they, this organization came to us and they wanted us to help with youth bands. And, 
you know, we, we knocked it out of the park. In in December, we raised money for the Denver Rescue Mission. Right. Um, and this upcoming event on April 11th at Herman Sideway, uh, Doors at 12, um, we have a bunch of great bands that day. But what, what we have tasked the kids with this, this time is picking out a charitable organization, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that is like ourselves, um, and uh, decide an organization that they would like to donate $500 to if they happen to win this competition or, you know, the, the I guess it is a competition, on the 11th. So we're really excited to see what they come up with. And so some organization chosen by our kids is going to get $500 from the Mile High Seamsters and this is in keeping with our mission to, you know, give back to the community, pay it forward, and keep that mission, you know, in mind with our kids, you know, that we are a charitable organization. We want to do good for the community through music, you know? Right. Another cool right. thing is uh, we bring the kids down here in the World Viral Studios and interview the kids. Uh, we did that at the last Mile High Seamsters event, and we're planning to do it on this one too. And that's a lot of fun. You get to see the kids. The kids get that that uh, more real world experience by by talking about what they're doing and being in front of the camera. So it's a, yeah. a cool thing all the way around. Very awesome. Very it, awesome. it really is. And you know, and we at the last event too, we had the big screen up, and you know, people that were upstairs could watch the goings on down in the basement at World Viral TV. So. Um, you know, all the way around, it's pretty, pretty awesome deal, um, and a full, you know, full on experience for the kids. Right. Um, you know, I know that so a lot of them really liked, it. uh, meeting Texas Hippie Coalition that came through, and you guys do such awesome work with Mile High Seensters. That's the reason why they donated the base. I mean, you guys are award winning, aren't you? You got, weren't you guys like the best five, four, what is it, 501? Uh, we won the, uh, uh, through DPS, we won the uh, 2014 Helen Phelps Volunteer Award, um, and we're, we were awarded that last year. So that, that was pretty cool, man. Definitely yeah, a cool year. Yeah, awesome. we, were, we, we were honored at this dinner, um, um, which was really fantastic, and uh, some of those connections are through, um, you know, one of the bands that's playing, in, in fact, on April 11th. Uh, the night's going to be uh, ended by a band called Second Bell, and this is a group of school teachers who we um, got involved with from the very beginning. They've been fantastic and connected us to um, a really amazing guy, John Epps, who, through Denver Public Schools. Who who's going to be at our arts. event, our next event, this coming event. Yeah, and he'll be at the April 11th, but, you know, um, John has been fantastic, and uh, um, we've just gotten so much through that uh, connection with Denver Public Schools. And, you know, and, and what we're doing is really important from the other aspect of, you know, um, so many arts programs have been cut in the schools, and uh, it's not like it used to be. And, uh, you know, we all know for a fact that, um, kids that are involved in the arts, they have better attendance in school, they have better grades, they have better self-esteem, they're more involved, you know. Um, so it's so important. You know, the STEM stuff is great, but I just heard something uh, the other day, in fact, that they said now they're starting to see that some of that might be a fail because it's lacking the arts. Hmm. Yeah. In those yeah. STEM programs, you know, the science, right. uh, tech, uh, whatever, math, I don't even know what it all stands for, uh -huh. <laughs> but <laughs> so, you know, um, we love what we do, you know, we're all very passionate about it, we've been at it for a long time, and we just want to keep spreading good word. All right, well, we appreciate the call, thank you, Diane, again, April 11th, yeah. get tickets at hermanshideaway.com, daytime show, yep. bunch of awesome kids, we will uh, be back after the break with more, this is Music Buzz Live Radio. Thanks, guys. The mission of Mile High Scenesters is to provide a community-based platform for youth music programs by fostering an environment of creativity and mentorship. We have a, a group in town that really is so supportive. They do instrument drives. They raise money for instruments. They provide opportunities for students to perform. They are called the Mile High Seamsters. We started our own official nonprofit, and it's basically entirely focused on youth development. I never came from a musical background or anything like that, 
but I remember I tried piano lessons and then I went on to oboe lessons and then I finally found the guitar and it just it fit with me so well. And you know, I've just learned to love it and it's something I do every day. Uh, we are the Mile High Seamsters. We're a nonprofit organization with our partner organization Optimus Youth. We support youth musicians and school music programs. Um, I actually started music about seven years ago in orchestra. And ever since then, I've been interested in the guitar and started about five years ago. And ever, like, it's always been basically, like Kate said, my outlet. And there's really nothing else I can take my energy out on. I'm a teacher, and so I've seen a lot of how music has benefited my students, especially the kids who struggle in school. Right. That's huge, and they need to have those opportunities. It's a way for us to keep get our youth to, you know, kind of a mentoring sort of position where we can keep them oh. interested and involved and bring the next generation into our fold, so to speak. <laughs> We've been doing a quarterly event series that's family-friendly, all-age events at Hermit's Hideaway. Get kids up on a big stage, let them see what that's like. We also have a singer-songwriter series for elementary school students and an ongoing musical instrument drive. We recently donated quite a few instruments to DPS. We also raised over $3,000 at our last event in December, and those funds have been designated for Denver Public School Music Programs. There was no program like this available. I mean, if I, if I had the opportunity to play on the stage at Hermit's Hideaway when I was 12 years old, 13 years old, my life path would have been completely different. Imagine having those 11 years of growth underneath your feet, but also with positive adult role models that guide you through the process. Check us out at milehighscenesters.org or contact us at milehighscenesters at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you.
everyone. This program was brought to you by National Speaker and Sound, Colorado's leading provider of pro audio music equipment. Right across the street from Herman's Hideaway at 1559 South Broadway. National Speaker, where the pro shop. World viral. National Speaker and Sound with a Pro Shop, Colorado's leading supplier of pro audio musical equipment with the highest quality guitars, basses, and amps on the planet. From a single cable to PA and lighting systems, DJ and recording equipment, National Speaker and Sound represents over 90 brands. EV, JBL, Mackie, PRS, Nash, Fox, and Mesa Boogie for the serious musician. National Speaker and Sound service departments are unrivaled in the region with our certified electronics repair and speaker reconing. Our commercial division is Colorado's leading audiovisual installation contractor. Shop with the experts or visit us online at nationalspeaker.com.
Bavarian cream, strawberry, watermelon chili, toasted almond. With over 441 flavors to choose from, you are guaranteed to find a flavor that you like. Anything from coconut, sweet tarts, even monkey farts, anything, and you'll probably find what you like. Welcome to iVapor Depot, Denver's chief retailer of vaporizers and electronic cigarettes. We are committed to helping individuals transition from a bad habit into a healthier lifestyle. iVapor Depot is your go-to store for all of your vaping needs. Located conveniently on Denver's Green Mile, iVapor Depot offers its customers only the highest quality of product from the leading names in the vaping industry. Our arsenal of products include not only vaporizers, but batteries and premium e-juices. iVapor Depot, 1559 South Broadway. iVapor Depot. Herman's Hideaway, on the corner of Iowa and Broadway. Your favorite independent anti-corporate venue, featuring Westward's best patio. Now serving award-winning food. From metal to jazz to hip-hop, Herman's Hideaway has something for everyone. And if you want to book your act at Herman's Hideaway, email booking at hermanshideaway.com or call 303-777-2535. There's only one venue, family owned and operated for over 50 years. Holding it down in Denver. Go to hermanshideaway.com for more information and show listings. Some drama? Drama. I want to put the fucking bat into it. Yeah. There you go. I like to do the honors. I'll do the fucking honors. I got my fucking 2D bashing shoes on. Awesome. Go, Mike. No shit. That's gonna look really fucking awesome in slow motion. No shit. David Motel, Motel Minute. Manager of the Red Pond. That's right. All right. Um, would you like to help us destroy a TV in the back? Sure. Do you have a sledgehammer? I do. Can you bring it over? I can. All right, awesome. We're getting the sledgehammer now. About to get it done. I'm tearing through the pressure. One chance to make it right. Destroy all of this side. My soul was born to find. So just give
And that's what happens when you don't pay rent. Rent's due, motherfucker.